In the summer of 1996, fans of Columbia football were cautiously optimistic. Head coach Ray Tellier had assembled one of the most talented Lion teams in years and only two years removed from a resurgent 5-4-1 season. The 1996 team was poised for success. However, the season did not start out the way Columbia expected. By halftime of Game 1 against Harvard, the Lions trailed the Crimson 13-0. But with the leadership of captains Ryan Gabriel, Marcellus Wiley, Rory Wilfork, and Randy Murph, they would not let the Lions lose. And the second half would be a glimpse of the exciting season to come. A third quarter touchdown and two fourth quarter field goals tied the game. And Marcellus Wiley blocked a Harvard field goal attempt to send the game into the first overtime in school history. Where the Lions won it on a Bobby Thomason pass to David Ramirez. And over the next five weeks, Columbia would defeat every opponent en route to the team's first 6-0 start in half a century. The Lions won in dramatic fashion, with a blocked extra point in overtime at Penn, and a last-minute field goal at Yale, and with dominant performances, forcing five turnovers against crosstown rivals Fordham and scoring 24 straight points in a win at Holy Cross. Only a heartbreaking defeat at home to Princeton and a loss at undefeated league champions Dartmouth knocked the Lions from the top of the league. And the Lions rebounded to win the final two games of the year to finish 8-2, the most victories for a Columbia football team since 1945 and a second place finish in the Ivy League. It was an amazing season of team and individual performances, including the dominance of future NFL pro Marcellus Wiley, who contributed on offense, defense, and special teams. And first team all Ivy Leaguer Rory Wilfork, marshalling the center of the defense from his linebacking spot. And others coming through when called upon, like Dennis Lee's overtime catch at Penn, and Burt Bondi setting a team record with 14 receptions versus Cornell and Paris Childress stepping up when starting quarterback Bobby Thomason went down with an injury. Most importantly, the 1996 Columbia Lions were a team in every sense of the word. Nine different defenders intercepted passes, and 10 different Lions put points on the board. In recognition of the incredible season, head coach Ray Tellier was named National Coach of the Year by the American Football Coaches Association. Presenting the 1996 football team, please welcome Lisa Carnoy, Columbia College Class of 1989. And now, the 1996 Columbia football team, co-captain Marcellus Wiley, co-captain Rory Wilfork, co-captain Ryan Gabriel, Daniel Batterina, Shant Barsomian, Michaeli Balanca, Mark Bernstein, Chris Blakely, Matt Bloodgood, Chandler Bockledge, Burt Bondi, Greg Bowman, Brett Bryant, Mark Cannon, Paris Childress, Joe Cormier, Rashawn Curry, David Curtis, Tariq Dalton, Armand Dawkins, Marcel Deans, Jay Dupertis, Michael Glynn, Norman Hayes, Pat Lamparello, Dennis Lee, Matt Linnett, Ray Martinez, Mike Martinick, Anthony McGill, Justin Medlin, Austin Milliken, Thomas Nelson, Andreas Newman, Brandon O'Daniel, Matt Radley, David Ramirez, Claude Roxborough, Sam Rubert, Jason Stream, Juan Carlos Tabio, Jeremy Taylor, Stephen Testa, Bobby Thomason, Chris Tillotson, Chris Wachter, Daniel Woodland, and the head coach of the 1996 Columbia Lions, Ray Tellier. <laughs> 